Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric, here today in Erie, Colorado with a customer. Uh, house is 2006. It's only got three art fault breakers installed because of the code time. And basically during that air, we only had just the bedrooms covered with art faults. Um, and basically they had a, a continuous tripping issue. It's just a nuisance thing. It's not happening all the time um, when they're vacuuming or when they have a space heater plugged in. Nothing random that I would catch right away. Um, and, and the thing is, is this is so on its own that we couldn't quite figure it out. The, the other thing that's a little difficult is that this is the master bedroom walk-in. This has a little coffee bar area. Out there is a second door to the stairways to the kitchen. That light's actually on it too, this circuit. And coming in here is from the other direction, from the hallway. Here's a master bathroom right here, and here's the master bedroom. Um, some of the things that we look for is, first thing I did is I came and turned on all of the lights, because when I got here, the breaker was in the on position. It was not tripped or faulted. And I couldn't get anything to trip with it. The TV wasn't making it trip. The outside light on this porch wasn't making it trip. It wasn't full of water. There, they looked at the sockets and all of the lamps. I looked at the sockets and the can lighting. Um, and then finally, what I decided to do um, was to see possibly was it the fluorescent light in the closet because sometimes after nine years, those can get funky on the ballast. But as I struck that, that wasn't making it go out. Uh, went to the panel, had a brand new breaker. They said they moved in eight months ago, and the electrician before they moved in put in a new breaker because it was on their list of inspection. Um, did not feel it was the breaker. And finally, oh, it's also a Siemens, so I know that Siemens are a good brand. Uh, finally, we decided to check. They do have a heating blanket here, and it's a separate divider, uh, so it's, it's a double zone. So one and a half amp on one side and one and a half on the other side, so it adds about three to three and a half amps when it's running. Um, we ran everything with the lights, the fans, the bathroom, the, the heating blanket. Everything was at 10 amps max, so really that circuit's almost maxed out. Um, personally, as an electrician, I don't think I would have wired all my outlets for my bedroom on with my lighting, but that's the way they did it. Um, so they only have five amps left over before the breaker is going to pop. We did plug in the Krebs machine over there to see if that coffee pot would make it pop, and that drove it up to about 11, 11 and a half amps, and then it finally popped within 60 seconds. But that was an overcurrent draw, and she said about two days ago she just brought it up, and it wasn't that for the last eight months. She finally gave me a clue that the last homeowner took down their ceiling fan and took it with them because they liked it so much. So I got in that box and guess what I found? I found a neutral and a ground almost touching under the same wire nut. So the code states that whether the circuit's on or off, it doesn't matter. You have to basically cap off each wire individually with a cap. And the funny thing about it is that even if these switches were in the off position or on, that wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered. Because anytime you touch a neutral and ground that's continuous path to the panel, that arc fault is going to sense that le leakage in the current or another pathway, and it's going to pop the breaker every time. So as simple as one wire cap, that's what we found. Uh, it is a tough one to find because typically it's one of those things that keep calling you back saying, hey, you didn't solve it. Um, but now that I know it's a new breaker, it's not that issue. Now, I had one last week where it was the breakers, but I had to wait a couple weeks to see if anything else tripped it. <clears throat> also making sure... The customer wasn't plugging in space heaters or vacuums that were popping it too. Because there's one side that's called hardwired, which is your switches, your lights, and your outlets. And then you have your soft tail plug that plug in stuff, which is your heating blankets, space heaters, vacuums, TV, surge protectors, um, treadmills, things of that nature that can affect it too. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for joining us.